Hi, I'm Professor Jessup, and this is a video on how to develop an equation of a line. Let's say we have a line, and we want to predict where it's going to go past where we can see it. So the first thing we need to do is develop an axis. Choosing this axis, we can say that this is the x-axis, positive direction, and this is the y in the positive direction. We need to pick two points um, and make up some units. So we'll, we'll just arbitrarily use that as a distance for a unit. And we'll choose this point right there, and we will call it minus 2 and minus 1, it being in quadrant 3. And choosing a, a, an easy unit in quadrant 1, using that same distance, we'll go 3, and it looks like it's going to be 2 the other direction. And so choosing this point here, we will uh, say that that has units of 3 and 2. It's important to keep the scale the same. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly close, not, not too far off. We'll uh, call this lower left uh, point in quadrant 3, we'll call it A, and we will call this other point B. And we want to develop an equation for the line A through B to see where it might be when X is, say, 5. So we need to remember the formula for the slope-intercept. M at y equals mx plus b. And the first thing we need to do is to count. And uh, counting, we can see that we have a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our run is 5. And this particular one rises from, um, from minus 1, it rises 1, 2, 3. So our rise is 3. So we have an m of 3 over 5. And clearly uh, we can choose either of our points, A or B, and I'm going to choose B as it's in quadrant 1 and both are positive. And so plugging in the y of 2 and the x of 3, we now have to solve for b. So using our uh, clearing fractions technique, we place our LCM 5 outside and we see that we got 10 is going to equal and the 5's uh, are going to make a 1, so 3 times 3 is 9, uh, plus 5b. So as we subtract 9, we see that uh, 5b is 1, and therefore uh, b is 1 fifth. And writing our equation, we now know that y equals, our slope never changes for this line, 3 fifths x plus our new intersection, one fifth, and we look at, we're, we're, as we look at it, we see that that one fifth looks appropriate. So now we just need to plug in our x of five, and we, as we do that, uh, we find that y is going to equal three over five times five plus one fifth, and I see that that's cluttered. And so I'm going to erase some of this so that you can see that we have y with the 5 over 5 making 1. We have that y y is going to be 3 and a fifth. And the way we'd write that and uh, again, let me erase a little bit so that you can see it better. We, we would write it as the point
x is, was 5 at that point, and we see that y is 3 and 1 fifth. So we've used the function developed from two points to predict that when x is 5, if our line continues, that y would be 3 and 1 fifth.